be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm basically gonna be mixing this beat in Logic Pro 10. Let's go ahead and get it. First thing I'm gonna do is actually come over here and make a uh, and grab all of these. So I'm just gonna basically highlight everything, push Option, click on it. It's gonna take everything to nominal gain. You also wanna do that on your uh, pants or whatever and then from here I just want to come over here like at a place where it has most of you know what I'm saying all the sounds so we'll we'll play it here first and then we'll play it in another section of the beat next what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna put something called a game plugin on here you go to utility then game now, of course, it's going to matter if your, your track is like uh, stereo or not. So you want to keep in that in mind. Um, so we're going to put this game plugin on here. Mono for the mono track, stereo for the stereo tracks. OK. What this is going to do is basically let us like adjust the volume pre fader. And that's important. Say if you have something that's coming in a little bit too hot in the mix. Um, it's good to go ahead and fix that before you actually get started mixing. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do now. And if you look at the, like the, you know, the meters, you can see kind of what's coming in a little hot. Like this kick needs to be turned down just a little bit. A little bit on this uh, uh, snare. All right, cool. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to go over here to this part of the beat. This has 808. Okay, we're good there. And we're good there. So the main point is just making sure that stuff is not like peaking before we actually get to mixing it. I actually go a further step here, throw the game plugin on the stereo out. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but I do this as well. Just leave some headroom. All right, so after I do that, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and export these files. So what we're gonna do is go Shift, Command in the letter E. And this is going to pop up right here. I'm actually going to put the uh, files on the desktop. So I'm going to call it math uh, pre stems because we're going to redo the stems after this. And I also want to go ahead and turn off overload protection. Include tempo information. Yes, there's no pan, volume or pan automation. You can choose to include the audio tail. I'll go ahead and do that. And you can choose to bypass effects. I'm not going to do that. Um, but we have Wave 24 bit. There you go. We're going to export this. And once this finishes exporting, pretty much we're going to take the audio files, put them back in here. It's a whole lot easier to process audio files than MIDI. And so it's just like a good practice. You don't always have to do it this way, but it is a good practice. So now we'll go ahead and I'm just going to start a brand new track. I mean, not track, but session. And from here, we'll just click on this guy at the top right and then go to the desktop, go to those stems. All right. All right, cool. And this looks like everything is lining up as far as like the BPM is right here and everything like that. So now once we got all of our files in, 
you want to go and zoom out like I just did and take this end marker to the very end of your beat. You don't do that, you're going to have problems when it comes to like bouncing down your tracks. Here we can come over here and reorganize everything. So, you know, let's do all this stuff right here. This beat looks like it's very, very simple. There's not a whole lot going on on here. So I will probably need to add other stuff, but for the most part, this is a great, you know, starting point. I'm gonna focus mainly on just mixing what we have before adding anything else extra. Obviously, since this is um, a mixing video, so here we go. And then we got that. So now we got that going. Um, the next thing I wanna focus on is leveling. So we can come over here to the mixer window um, and then take everything down here actually. And actually, since I have a very simple beat to mix, I mean, there's not a whole lot of tracks. I'm not gonna necessarily focus on grouping these tracks together and stuff like that. So what I wanna start off with is like the main part of the track, which is gonna be this choir sound right here. And we'll call that choir one. We'll call this choir two. So I'm gonna mix this in first, because this is the main part. You look at the beat, this goes all the way through. <laughs> Excuse me. Now during this part of it, usually, you know what I mean, you would wanna go ahead and start bringing up the levels for everything, but honestly, I kinda wanna doctor this sound up just a little bit throw a couple plugins on here um so look what i'm gonna do we're gonna put this uh eq on here first because i know i'm gonna need to do that anyway we're gonna cut out some of the lows and then i'm gonna throw a certain plugin on here see here we can find that joint and it's gonna be the space rider plugin it's gonna add some delay and a whole bunch of cool little effects So something like this is cool. You can always come over here and mess around with these knobs. I'm gonna actually turn the mix down some, like mix this. Cause I want the reverb to be there and the effects to be there, but I'll still wanna hear the actual sound. So anyway, now that I got this going, we can start on the levels of some of this other stuff. Um, it can help if you go ahead and take like a uh, these loop markers and put them over to the places that you can have the beat. So I'm going to turn off this 808, or not this 808, this bass.
cool. I kind of like to drive that bass and or the kick and the snare um, initially, especially after we already brought these uh, audio files in here. You know what I mean? Just kind of mix it without worrying about the meters at first, and then we're gonna fix that later. But um, now I want to go ahead and focus on bringing in this choir two and then these eight oh eights. Take it over here, bring in this 808. Here we can work on panning, creating a stereo image. <coughs> <coughs> Cool. So pretty much we uh, did got the levels, got some panning, and I started doing some subtractive EQing. So taking some of the lows out of like the snare hat. I already did it on the choir. <clears throat> As you can see here, we're peaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I said I wasn't gonna group these, so I'm not going to because I mean it's, it's no point. I'm just gonna turn this down like this. And basically, I want to just leave some headroom right here in the mix. Anywhere between negative 6 dB to negative 3 or even, you know, negative 5. Anywhere in that kind of range is a good amount of headroom. I do want to go ahead and liven up this kick a little bit more. I feel like I can smack some. So I'm going to put the smack attack on it. Uh, yes. And... So just a little subtle changes. I can drive this kick up just a little bit more too. Just add a little more punch.
all right yeah that's gonna be the today's video um i do want to give a couple more tips here basically one thing that i used to do on my mixes which probably a lot of y'all do is over process uh you know saying the tracks like i used to think that i had to put plugins on each track so i would have a compressor on here i would have a gate <laughs> I have reverb or EQ, I'll have a, a limiter, you know, and you, I would flood each track with a bunch, as many plugins as I could, basically. And I didn't really understand that, you know, the whole process is taking the sound that you already have and then making it sound good, not necessarily trying to make it sound completely different. And so that's something to keep in mind when you're mixing, you know, when you're adding plugins. You're not necessarily trying to make the sound sound different. You're just trying to make it sound better. And, you know, that's something like when I was a beginner, I was struggling with, with the mixing. So less is more in, in my personal opinion. And I uh, just want to leave you all with a tip. Make sure you all head over to my website, bemakingbasis.com. We have uh, full video courses you can download and purchase on there, as well as uh, drum and melody kits that are all royalty free. I mean, you don't owe me any royalties or anything like that if, you know what I'm saying, you sell the, uh, create a beat off of it and sell it to an independent artist or something like that. So, um, and we have mixing templates. So if you really like the mixing process here and you want an easier way to do this and kind of like a set thing, you know, get those mixing templates out. They'll be a great starting point to get achieve great mixes, man. So. Anyway, get to subscribe to the channel and I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.